Hey guys, Mo Stat Manisterski, 2013 European Champion, Pan Am World Medalist. I'm at Open That MMA in Toronto with my buddy Fabio Almeida. And today we're gonna to be talking about guard retention and specifically dealing with the knee cup pass. So defending your guard is one of the most important skills that you're gonna learn and develop in Jiu Jitsu. One of the things that people kind of get carried away with is guard attacks. Like they spend a lot of time like looking into, thinking about and developing really good attacking techniques. And then for their defensive strategies, they just kind of leave it up to like experience or you'll get better at it the longer you, the longer you roll or train. But you want to have like specific thought out defenses to the various passes your opponent's going to do. And today we're going to start talking about that for the kneecap pass. Okay, so I'm here with Fabio. And what Fabio's going to try to do is he's going to enter on the knee cut and his goal is to try to get his knee down onto the mat. So as he comes through here, this right here. He wants to get this knee down here. Once that knee is down, I'm in a lot of trouble. Uh, he's also past this leg of mine and then he's just going to slide through and finish the pass. So this is the defense that we're going to work. Right here. So what I'm doing is, as Fabio enters, okay, this leg of mine is going to meet him like before he's really in tight, okay, and it's going to try to weave around his leg, and I'm going to try to get a reverse Delahiva hook. Okay, what this is going to do, as he brings his knee down, okay, my leg is now in between his hamstring and his calf, okay, as long as I control his space, I kind of jam his knee cut, okay. In addition to that, as he enters in, I pull this knee in towards me and I get my arm under my leg. As we were talking about before, Fabio's trying to land his knee on the ground. But now what I've done is I've put two obstructions in front of him. So his knee can't land because A, my leg is there and underneath my leg is my arm right here. Okay? This hand in addition, it's kind of blocking me from a potential cross face if he tries to combo this passes with other things. Okay? So this is what this side of my body does. Okay, now as he enters in, can I catch his leg? And on the other side, my arm is trying to stiff arm him right in the shoulder. Okay, what I don't want is I don't want Fabio in tight with his shoulder like this. If he does happen to get here, okay, I'll bring this hand, I'll stiff arm him away. From here, once we have this position, okay, this is how we first meet our opponent as he tries to enter. Now I'm gonna replace this hand with my foot. Okay, so this foot is going to go right to here, just like that, okay? And what we're doing by controlling the shoulder is we're constantly controlling the distance between us and the opponent. Once my foot is here, now I'm going to switch off what this hand is doing with this hand like this, and then this one will finally grab his ankle, and now we're in the reverse del Hiva. now we can attack, okay? Now, one scenario that this happens out of a lot is if Fabio starts off in my half guard, okay? So if he's down on his lead knee right here, I have a long distance half guard, okay? What he's gonna do is, he might be pressuring in tight here, and then all of a sudden he starts to lift his knee and bring it over, okay? Boom, if he gets it down, we're in trouble. So, what you have to be sensitive to, and what you have to drill, is the idea of following your opponent's leg as he lifts it up, okay? So really slowly, as Fabio lifts that knee, again, I lift my leg and I curl it towards my body trying to get my leg right here, reverse de la Hiva. I'm hooking with the instep of my foot and my, my leg is in between his hamstring and his calf. And this part of my body is under right here, okay? And then again, he'd be in tight the rest of the move as I push that shoulder away, get my foot over top. And now, only now can I pass this off and switch to his ankle. The, the error that a lot of people do is they think immediately reverse de la Hiva and they grab this ankle like this, okay? If I don't have either distance control, he can just, boom, grab my head, and then I'm in a lot of trouble, okay? So one time really quick, just so you see it in like real time, he's gonna enter for the knee cut, boom, and now he can start attacking. Okay, so that was the defense to the knee cut. That's our first layer of defense, okay? If things get worse, if you manage to get that knee to the ground, we're gonna cover that actually later on in this series uh, in my next upcoming video. So subscribe to the channel, uh, like me on Facebook, follow me in my competition results. Thank you.